what is up everyone, welcome back to another Gundam review. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. If you haven't seen the unboxing yet, make sure to check that one out. And of course, this video right here would not be possible if it wasn't for those awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you want one of these of your own, then make sure to check out that link down there in the description. So there is the Metal Robot Damashi Gundam 00 in all of its glory. This right here is a premium action figure in absolutely every way. The color application is absolutely 100% perfect. The colors are rich and bright, the shiny die cast metal parts look great and are a fantastic contrast to the matte colors used on the plastic. A few nice decals here and there but not too many as to go into that Vercal level of overkill. The clear green on the GN condensers looks great, again a fantastic contrast with the metal parts and the awesome double O head has never ever looked better at this scale. That head looks perfect. As for the size comparison, there it is beside a high grade, a master grade, a perfect grade, as well as a Figma. There's a more detailed comparison with the real grade 00, which is probably the most comparable product on the market. I'll let you make up your own mind as to which one actually looks better, as honestly these are two completely different takes on the mobile suit. However, I will say right here, the metal Robot Damashi feels so much better in your hand than the real grade. So here is the Metal Robot Tamashi Gundam 00 Riser with everything that comes in the box. As for manipulators, we have fists, some open hands, as well as some holding hands. Next are the two beam sabers. The beam effects are extremely nice and clear pink with a slight pearlescent effect on there. And of course, when not in use, they can be attached around the back onto the butt pegs. Next up then are the two GN Sword 2s, a left and a right. These also come with those awesome clear pink effect parts with the pearlescent finish. These can be attached together end to end using the included joint clip like this and they can also be transformed into rifle mode. When not in use, these guys can be attached right here onto the side skirts. Next up then is the GN Sword 3, without a doubt my favorite Gundam weapon of all time and this version of it looks incredible. It attaches onto the forearm like so for sword mode flips back like this for rifle mode and we also have this big clear pink effect part and just like before we got a nice mottled pearlescent finish right on there. Next up then is the two parts of the GN shield which can be attached to the shoulders or the forearms or push these parts out of the way to attach them together to make this one big version of the shield. The included O riser looks absolutely spectacular as well. The same colors as the double O but with a clear orange cockpit and silver inside of that the wing sections pop off, this part at the back flips down like this and all the parts connect to the double O just like so. Last up then is the included base and Tamashii Nations have gone all out with this one. Metallic green on black, two ratchet joints in the stand as well as some side to side motion up here at the top. We also have three different base adapters in here. One to attach to the double O, one to attach to the O riser and one to attach to the GN Sword 3 which in turn has another adapter to attach it to the O riser for displaying the O riser with the GN Sword 3. Okay so moving on to the articulation, first the backpack, we've got up and down there, rotation at this point here, a hinge joint here at this point, this section can open and close, now let's get that out of the way. The neck, a little bit of back and forth, rotation all the way around, up and down at the shoulder, this joint in here moves out which is very, very nice. The shoulder armor moves independently, spin at this point there, to get more out of that elbow then you just pull this out ever so slightly and then you get that band right there. Two points of articulation at the wrist, one there and one at the wrist itself. As for the waist, there it is, side to side, forward and back ab crunch and that is much better than you're gonna get from most Gunpla. Side skirt up and down, that moves around as well. The front skirting armor pivots side to side like this to keep it out of the way the legs. This version of the Double O Gundam has an absolutely huge ass and this part doesn't move at all. We do have these little pegs here which these attach to and those can move up and down. That's the beam sabers. As for the waist, we've got a whole lot going on in here. We've got some up and down in the actual waist itself. This here is a ball and socket joint which usually sucks but right here it's quite good. It's really stiff because it's die cast parts but we can get whoops but we can get an entire splits out of that. It does however feel a little bit stiff so I wouldn't want to be doing that too often to be honest. As well as that there it is all the way up to the front uh, all the way out to the back. We've got a pivot then at that point. So there is the bend at the knee and not just one joint but we've got two so that is one hell of a bit. Last up then is the ankle and we've got a bit of forward and back, some side to side but I don't think we're going to get a whole lot out of that and last up the toes can bend up as well as down. 
So that is it for the review. Without a doubt, this is an epic premium figure and perfect in pretty much every single way. Some may find it a bit on the pricey side, so if you want the next best thing, the real grade 00 is a great, although very different alternative. But if you do, however, hate building models or just want the best small scale solid action figure of the 00 riser money can buy, then this is the one for you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, subscribe if you feel like it, leave a like as it really supports the channel, and as always, I'll see you next time.